Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be here talking to you about the fourth generation of Cumulus Network's open software architecture, which represents uh, a decade of development work. Ten years ago, Google had just reinvented the way in which data center networks were built using a combination of a class network architecture, off-the-shelf white box switches, Google's own software, and completely automated deployment flow. Our founder, J.R. Rivers, had a simple but lofty goal. Could we bring the benefits of the Google approach to any enterprise IT team? And could we do so by harnessing the power of the Linux operating system and the Linux software development ecosystem? If you look at us, you know, 10 years uh, down the road, that's exactly what we've done. We've pioneered uh, several significant open source initiatives, FRR, Free Range Routing, ONI. Uh, we've made significant contributions to the Linux kernel in the area of networking. And more importantly, we've demonstrated that all this stuff actually works you know, in real deployments at scale for mission critical applications for large Fortune 500, Fortune 50 type customers. In Cumulus Linux, 4.0, what we've chosen to focus on is a few key initiatives. First off, we have built a complete solution consisting of not just Cumulus Linux, but also NetQ 2.0, Cumulus VX, and uh, a suite of cloud services which allow our customers to, number one, simulate and test out an entire network deployment before they deploy anything. Second, they can get visibility into what's happening on the network uh, using NetQ 2.0 and all the in-band telemetry real-time visibility that's provided by modern uh, switching chips from Broadcom and Mellanox. And third, they can go ahead and test out and validate and build out their entire CI-CD pipeline for automated DevOps using REST APIs that we provide, that Cumulus Linux and NetQ provide, for visibility into the state of the network, the configuration of the network, and so on. The second thing that we've chosen to do in Cumulus Linux 4.0 is finish out our EVPN implementation, specifically in the area of multicast. So we now have support for EVPN PIM, protocol independent multicast, and also PIM MLAG. And we expect to have support for EVPN multi-homing in the next few months. What this does is it allows our customers who want to deploy multicast as a first-class object in their network architecture uh, to go ahead and use Cumulus Linux for that. The next thing that we've done is we've continued to add support for many more hardware platforms. Uh, specifically in CL4.0, we've added support for two new uh, switching ASIC families. One built around the Tomahawk 3 chips from Broadcom. The second built around the Spectrum 2 chips from Mellanox, and we continue to add support for a lot of new campus hardware platforms. What we also expect to do is through the next year, add support for several new switching family ASICs, which allow us to provide functionality for uh, much higher scale, as well as um, more broader applications. And then last but not least, harkening back to our Linux roots, we expect to introduce in 2020 a new version of Cumulus Linux that's built uh, around switch dev. We expect this to be a community edition that uh, some of our uh, early adopters uh, can go play with. And we really look forward to getting uh, all of your feedback in terms of what your experience has been with Cumulus Linux.